Twingate is a remote access solution built on a zero trust architecture. Twingate allows you to replace your VPNs and securely access your private networks, whether they're in the cloud, on-prem or at home. Hi everyone. Welcome to the weekly Twingate office hours, where we look at various security challenges and how Twingate can help you solve them. My name is Shri, and I work as a DevOps content manager here at Twingate. Hey everyone, thanks for joining. I'm Emma, I'm the principal product specialist here at Twingate. This week's show will focus on how to deploy Twingate and connect to your various services on render. And so Emerald, I want to start off by spending some time uh, talking a little bit more about what render is and the benefits it provides. Render.com is a relatively new service that allows you to deploy your applications into a giant cloud where render.com will manage all of your infrastructure. That means you can have your web services, databases, background workers, all in some managed infrastructure. So you don't need to think about the difficult uh, realities of scaling and provisioning infrastructure. Think of it like a Heroku, but a lot more modern and up to date. So what we're going to do with render.com today is actually deploy a Twingate connector into the render network. And I've already set up a Postgres database within render which I am going to connect to using my Windows, sorry, my Mac laptop. So over here, you see my render dashboard. You see that I've got Postgres already set up. And what I want to do is look at my Twingate account and I see that there's nothing to find. And I also have uh, open my GitHub uh, repository that has deployed to render. So the first thing I do is add a remote network and for the name, I just call it render. The next thing I need to do is deploy one of my connectors. I'm gonna click on the connector and I'm gonna generate some tokens. It's gonna ask me to re-authenticate, which I'm going to do. and you can see those tokens. So now I go back to my GitHub repository and there's a one click to deploy button, which I'm going to click on. This opens up in render and you can see that all I need to do here is give it a service name. So I call mine TG connector and there's some metadata variables that I need to paste in. First being my Twingate account name. I can get that from my Twingate admin console if I need to. Um, but mine is emerald.twingate.com. And I also need my access token and refresh token. I can copy those from the admin console where I've just generated those tokens and I can paste them in to render.com. So I hit apply. It will take a few minutes for render.com to actually deploy. What's happening in the background is render will pull from the Git repository the information about the Docker uh, instance that we want to create and actually run it on their cloud. That Docker container is actually running our connector software. And as soon as that connector software starts up, it's going to connect back to our cloud. So here I can see that render.com has already started it. And if I go to the Twingate admin panel, I see the lights are green and I can see deployed by render. So once I've done that, the next step is actually to get access to this database. So, go, so let's go take a look at what the configuration there looks like. I'm gonna copy the password and I'm also gonna take a copy of the host name. Here I can use the internal host name because that's how Twingate works. It actually will connect internally to those resources because that's also where the connector is hosted. So today I'm using DataGrip. DataGrip is a SQL management tool and I'm just gonna add a new Postgres connection so I can administer my Postgres database that is in render. I can just give it a name. copy the username and password. 
and I'm just going to test the connection. This is obviously not going to work because it's a private host name and I am not currently connected to Twingate. So I'm just showing you to confirm that it doesn't work. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the access control by default. Render has the database open to anywhere on the internet. We obviously don't want that, so we're just going to remove the, uh, the access list that allows that. The last thing I need to do is add my resource in TwinGate itself. By default, TwinGate doesn't let you access any resources. So because I want to access the database, I need to copy the host name. I can also copy IP addresses, CIDR ranges if I wanted. But today, I'm just copying the host name of my database and I'm going to add it as a new resource. Once I've done that, I can connect to TwinGate and I can retest my database connection. And this time you can see I've successfully connected and I'm able to browse my database as if I was locally in that private network segment. So this is how we can use TwinGate to allow access into private resources that are within Render. Okay, amazing. Um, Emerald, thanks for that today. And thanks again, for, uh, everyone, for joining us this week. Hopefully you found today's show useful. Please feel free to shoot over any follow-up questions to us or any other topics you'd like to have addressed in future shows. See you next week. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you.